here's something that you will not run into on a new home hopefully but you could run into on an older one and it has to do with a space between the air conditioning condenser and anything else as you can see right here there's probably about three inches when the air conditioning condenser might require three feet so just something to think about if you're going to be remodeling something in the future now again I even made another video uh, I had a picture one time where the air conditioning condensers two of them were buried in bushes that isn't good stacking stuff up against these things that is a no-no I've even been to houses where people have stuff stacked on top of the air conditioning condensers and again you aren't going to um, they aren't going to be operating effectively and or efficiently if you have these things covered up so just wanted to put this out there as a warning to anyone remodeling contractors especially who might have a project coming up where someone wants you to build something around or next to one of these condensers wouldn't be a bad idea to check with a manufacturer to see what you can and cannot do so again do not restrict the airflow from air conditioning condensers in any way so uh, again I've seen people cover these things with plastic because um, they're they, they want to keep the dirt and debris they might have a tree that's shedding off a bunch of leaves out of it but they don't understand that this is part of the air conditioning system and it's not going to work if it's covered up or if the airflow is restricted another thing is not uncommon is to find someone build a deck or some type of a lattice structure around next to or over one of these units so again restricting the airflow will create problems building things next to these or surrounding them somehow will also create problems so uh, just something to keep in mind especially if you are a remodeling contractor or thinking about a project in the future that might be built next to or around one of these units